Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Gretchen from Willie Outdoors and I am at Saleski State Forest. It is Saturday, March 4. And let's see what I get into. We are at our official first intersection. The Selesky backpacking trail is marked by orange places. And I noticed these signs this time around. They're new to me. I haven't been here since 2021. Okay, so here it is. G takes you through the middle loop up to camp three. And B takes us to the south loop. Camp first, camp one first and then two and that is where we are going do a little check-in today is it's 38 degrees right now it's gonna go up to the 40s and the low tonight is 34 and then back to the 50s tomorrow i am already sweating so i'll probably shed a layer here in a mile or two and it is really comfortable it's cloudy and there is no rain in the forecast because we got it all last night if you park at the schoolhouse, which is technically the official parking lot for bikepacking, you will be coming from that trail. And then it connects to this intersection here, which is point B on the map. And to the left is where I was coming from. And then to the right is to Camp 1. Okay, so we made it to Camp 1 area. That is the water pump. And over there is the privy. And the trail continues over there. I'll show you the campsites when we get there. Okay, so that was the privy over there. And you can see where people have just camped here. But the campsite is really a little bit further. This is the official camp area. It's probably like, I don't know, 200 yards from where we were. And there's more sites back there. We had some really severe storms yesterday and the trail has been in great condition. I was expecting it to be way worse, but this is the first major blowdown that I see that is really blocking the trail. I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along. But other than that, it's been, it's been a great walk. Not a lot to show, so I haven't done a ton of recording yet. The sun came out. And that's exciting. Now to go over that somehow.
I am right now at point C. And this is not a camp, but you can see how somebody has camped here. This is a beautiful, beautiful overlook. And then look at all those baby pines. I want to clarify that I am at point F on the map. Even though there's a letter C there. I'm not sure if, you know, this map is old. But I'm on that bend. never been on this side of the trail before and this is pretty that sucks back to the whole trail out that's the trail right there I came from all the way over there, up there in that ridge. Um, I've been descending all this time. And there is a creek that is running there pretty good. Not sure if this is running all year long, but if it is, it will be a good water source. And you can tell that there was a lot of destruction here, like storm situation a long time ago but the trail is nice and clear this part of the trail has been beautiful however it is flooded very flooded I had to do a little swimming a minute ago. Alrighty, we made it to camp two. Same deal, you know, water, privy. I'm going to look around because I've never been here. Looks like the campsites are up there. You know me, I'm not going to do any extra walking, so we can see it from here. There's water because I just checked. Okay, so I am coming off the mountain there. And I wanted to point out that a good thing about Seleski, this particular trail system, there are a couple of 
fire roads and different access points you know that you could access the trail through <laughs> so i just wanted to show that beautiful day so we are crossing this service road number three and we're gonna um, catch the trail up there to the right like that I am back at the car so I parked here at the iron furnace parking lot and did this trail all the way showed you the camps and then when I made it to this intersection which says K but again this is an old map then I headed back to the car so that is a total of about 11 10 and a half miles I believe so now I am going to make myself some ramen and eat it right here in the parking lot. And then I'm going to head back to Columbus. Thank you for watching. If you like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And we'll see you back outside.